Rick Dior, and today we're going to talk about playing some basic Latin rhythms, mostly Cuban rhythms, but some others as well. So uh, this is conga video number three. If you watched my other two videos, uh, hopefully you watch watching them in order, this will make more sense. Uh, in those videos, I stated that I play with an open kind of hand style to protect my hand since I play a lot of orchestral percussion, also a lot of drum set. So you might want to look into those first. I'll also be discussing some ostinato grooves with these rhythms that I covered in Kunga video two. So today we're going to dive in and just do some basic, very basic rhythms, several of them uh, from my book. And there's also lots of variations in the book too, but I'll only, because of time constraints, I'll only be doing um, one or two examples of each. So we'll start out by going over the basic strokes again that I'll use today. So those are going to be the heel and the toe. And again, I consider that one stroke because it rocks back and forth. Like that. Okay, sometimes you can just use the toe to fill in, but mostly you'll use a palm stroke as a single note filler. Okay, so that's also another stroke, a palm stroke. It's kind of a dead stroke. And then we have the slap. That's called a closed slap because I have my left hand, in this case, muffling the drum. So, again, I go over these strokes in Conga Video 1. And then we have an open slap. It's important to be able to do that with both hands. Uh, and that's open because I'm not muffling the drum in any way. And then finally, we have the open tone and that's done with the fleshy part of your palm so again that was pretty quick but if you have any questions just go to the first conga video and I really get into all that so the first rhythm I'm going to show you and that's what I opened up this video with was uh, a rhythm I call the tumbao lots of other people call it that too it's um, used for mambo cha-cha-cha at a different speed soon montuno lots of other grooves and it's basically the the, the most used conga rhythm, if you ever listen to Santana or any of those things, even, even folk music sometimes they do it. So what that rhythm looks like is this. So slowly that's heel, toe, slap, toe, heel, toe, open, open. Heel, toe, slap, toe, heel, toe, open, open. So when you do that fast, you'll see that I'm doing some little variations on it. I'm using the low drum for the open tones or the top drum for the open tones. But what's consistent is the slap. That's important. It's a dance groove, uh, so it needs to have that, that backbeat almost. Now, when you slow that down, that works for a rhythm called cha-cha-cha, which is a slower dance groove. Uses Wiro and Cowbell and really lots of fun. So, um, dun, 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 dun. Okay, that's cha cha cha. You will also need to be able to play this tumbao fast. So uh, sometimes grooves, you know, in the, especially in the Latin jazz fusion realm, uh, go pretty quick. So you want to work on that. That's tough because you're having to rock your hand really fast. So practice them at all tempos. 
So uh, let's let's do a little different kind of groove. This groove is called Wawanko. It's a Cuban folkloric groove, and it uses a lot of palm strokes, dead strokes, which makes it super interesting. And it's very melodic as well. It has a two-note theme, which sounds like this. Now, normally this rhythm is played by a group of conga players. Um, so you'll have the requinto player playing a lot of solos, and then you have a conga player, a tumba player, you know, different guys playing different things, and one kind of soloist, and they dance, and it's just amazing. You can check all that out online for sure. But uh, our goal today is to synthesize all these multiple conga uh, rhythms in, for one player on two drums because I know most of you just have the two drums, so I got rid of all the other drums for this video. So when we play the Wawanko slowly, it sounds like this. Now you'll notice for this groove, I'm not using much heel toe or any at all right now. Later on you can use it. So when that's fast, it sounds like this. You saw there I did some variations. I also started to use a little bit of a filler heel toe. If you remember the first conga video, I showed you how that heel toe, that's where all your grooves live. That's the filler for everything. So uh, there's different variations of Wawanko. You can do um, this one that goes and so on. Those are all in the book. So if you get the book, you'll You'll see all those. Let's try a real fast one. This is called merengue. It's a dance from the Dominican Republic. Uh, I used to play lots of merengue gigs. It kind of drove me nuts after a while, but uh, it's very fast. So um, uh, there's very fast scraper, wiro. Um, uh, that's pretty much the heart of the groove. There's also um, uh, lots of congas and, and, you know, cowbell and stuff like that. So... That's felt in two. One, two, one, two. Now you'll see how I'm filling in with my, my toe, my fingers there. That helps me keep the rhythm. Okay, you could do some variations around the drums. kind of relentless that, that that particular dance but it's good to know because it's uh, if you do a salsa gig you will play merengue on it all right let's do some slower ones uh two of those are just the regular rumba and the bolero which is the slowest of all of them so these are used for for slow dancing uh slow ballads if you're playing a salsa gig uh so it's about one two, there might be about that tempo so they're very relaxed now the trouble here is you might want to try to rush can't do that. So like a rumba would be Okay, that and that's really basic, really simple. But you know, practice slowly with the metronome. A variation might be Be. That's a little bit of a faster tempo. Now, bolero, on the other hand, is even slower. So you can be a little busier, more on the 16th note side. So. Bolero 
first the slowest of all the Cuban dances, even slower than cha-cha. Okay, so when you play a ballad, you know, for slow dancing, that's what it's going to be. Some uh, times I adopted a little bit of a triplet motif for that, which would be... And again, that helps to fill in the space so you're not rushing, okay? All right. Now, let's try another Cuban dance uh, called the Wahira. That's a little bit faster. And this one's tricky because the slap's in a weird place. So I'll do it slow. That's, that's, a, that's a fun one. Uh, another dance rhythm that's, that's a little less common, but I have had to play it on several occasions, is the conga, which is a carnival dance, a Cuban carnival dance. And that sounds like this. Also, another um, less common dance you might have to play on a gig, uh, I've had to do this on several orchestra gigs, interestingly enough, is called the Calypso. Now, this is played in Haiti and Jamaica, and also obviously in the United States. And this rhythm uh, is a straight up dance rhythm. It's, it's uh, infectious. You hear steel drums, you can listen to some Andy Norell, you'll hear you know, a, lot of, a lot of congas on that. But a basic Calypso would be this, very basic. So. That can also be used for soca, which is which is uh, another steel pan rhythm. Now that should be faster. So that's a flat-handed rhythm where you're going because you don't necessarily want to hear too much of the inner sounds. Another variation would be. be a little too fast for that. Now, another way to play Calypso is do what I did in uh, Conga Lesson Video 2, where I did the right hand ostinato. You can do uh, this kind of ostinato, kind of a half samba ostinato, and play the Calypso with your left hand. So. Again, that gives you that, that pulsing kind of kick drum. Okay, it's, it's a lot of fun. So try that one. It's not too difficult. All right, let's go to Brazil. And again, uh, uh, um, congas are not indigenous to Brazil, but they're used there quite often. And um, Lots of rhythms sound great on, on congas, especially samba, bayon, partido alto, those rhythms. So uh, if we try the samba, it sounds like this. So that's a very simple samba. I'm just playing heel toe in between two open strokes. see the variations there. So Portito Alto is, um, is a funk groove. It's a Brazilian funk groove. And again, that's another one where you can play the, the half samba. And that rhythm, the mother rhythm, goes like this. Go backwards. Now 
practice some difficult coordination. So you have to practice that a lot. So. Okay, so that's partito alto. Um, and then Bayonne is... Um, that's the rhythm that we have. One, two, three, four. One of my favorite rhythms to play on the congas. So uh, that would sound like this. Now when it's more involved, faster. Okay, so that can go pretty fast. All right, so that's bio. Nanigo and Bembe, these are African grooves that cross-pollinated over uh, into Cuba, as everything did. So these rhythms are in 6-8 or 12-8, which is 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. So the dotted quarter note if you're in 12-8, okay? If you're in 4-4, four, four, those would be triplets. Triple it, 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 triple it. So the basic nanigo rhythm, the most basic one, would sound like this. where the counting is okay so when that's fast it it flows a little better most of the goes are about here so those are different triplet rhythms so here's some variations on that here's one I'll do it slowly And another really fun variation, again, is to do that right hand ostinato and then play the left hand rhythm. So it's very loose, very flammy, a lot of two against three polyrhythms there. Uh, bembe is another African rhythm. The slaps are in a little bit different place. Let me show you that slowly. So that's another really effective rhythm. Once again, there's lots of these variations in the book that you can, that you can look at. All right, let's go to a common groove that's uh, used um, here in the States in a lot of pop music. This is called Mozambique. Some people say Mozambique, but it uh, looks like Mozambique, but it's Mozambique. And uh, if you ever listen to uh, Paul Simon's um, Late in the Evening, Steve Gadd plays on that, that's a Mozambique. So uh, let's do this one slow. There's an accent. If you're thinking in 4-4, four, four, on the and of 4, that's very important. And that's done with a slap. So. So the important rhythm, with the, uh, rhythm there is 1, 2, 3, 4, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 2. So. Okay, that's Mozambique. Another one would be, we'll do this slow. So you see now I'm, st I'm using heel toe again to fill in. Faster. You'll 
also see the use of open slaps here. Okay, good. Um, so that pretty much wraps up the Cuban rhythms for this video. I'm trying not to go too long. I'm going to do another video of pop, jazz, and odd time uh, grooves, um, which are very important, believe it or not, on the congas and usually not covered too much. So that'll be the next one. Thanks so much.